Hello there, everyone. Welcome back into Fall of Porcupine. Uh, last time, we are still kind of getting over Irma's death. We hung out with Mia and did some improv, which was actually really fun. Very cute. Um, it looks like we have snowballs on our window. What is going on here? Someone threw snowballs at my window. I hope it wasn't my old houseplant back for revenge. That would be concerning. Let's go out and see, shall we? <gasps> Hi! Hey, good morning. I've had better, let me tell you. I was just resting my eyes. Letting my soul relax for a while. I had a nice dream just starting up. About a nice hot fondue. Then all of a sudden, stampede! This huge crowd of people came storming by. No consideration for my beauty sleep. It looked angry. Really? Someone threw snowballs at my window this morning. Maybe it was the same people. Why were they angry? How should I know? They were headed for the old town. Weird. I'll keep my eyes open. Good idea. Take care, buddy. You too, friend. I love that guy. He is like besties <laughs> in this in this game. All right, let's go see uh, what is going on here. No, I'm not taking the bus today. I want to be nosy, and I want to see if I can't catch up with the angry stampede. Okay, so far, no angry stampede. Oh my goodness, you're not an angry stampede, though. Adele, are you all right? Dear Lord, what? I almost got trampled by a crowd of people. They were really fired up. I asked what they were up to, but nobody listened to me. It reminded me of the great riot of Sandalwood. Would you like to learn about that, my budding historian? Yeah, why not? You should always make time for history. It always has something to teach us for the future. It all happened one hot summer in Sandalwood. Very different weather to what we're experiencing right now. At the time, Sandalwood was also known as the Citrus City. A lot of the people there worked with citrus products, you see. Juice, candies, soap. In the time, sorry, in time, Sandalwood became very wealthy. The huge variety of citrus cakes at the famous Lime Cream Bakery were especially popular. Eventually, though, the owner of the bakery got greedy. From one day to the next, the prices of her cakes and pies went up to five times what they used to be. At the same time, she started using lower-grade fruit in her baked goods. People caught on and called for a boycott. Things got so out of hand, almost half the town was burned to the ground. All through the local area, the air stank of citrus for weeks to come. That's why they call it the Citrus Summer. Beautiful name for a terrible incident. The owner of the pastry shop got away with it, but over strict requirements for citrus food products were established soon after. And before long, she left town and was never seen again. There you have it, the Great Riot of Sandalwood. Oh, historian of porcupine, heck yeah. Fascinating. Thank you. I'm always here for a little bit of history, a little bit of a story. Um... But I'm guessing our angry mob may have gone ahead. <laughs> oh, good morning. You're here today. Do you like a hot coffee? Um... You know what? Yeah, give me a hot coffee. Ah, finally. Thank you. I just saw a crowd passing through here. I thought I'd hit the jackpot, but they weren't interested in coffee, unfortunately. 
Was it a big crowd? Where'd they go? Towards St. Ursula's. I'm guessing you're heading that way too? Well, you can't miss him. Oh. Okay, now I'm a little bit concerned. Let's see here. Oh. There's lots of people here. I thought maybe there'd be gifts. Chocolate, but actually everyone's just angry. I don't like it. How much uh, more money are you gonna squeeze from us? Don't you work at the hospital too? I sure do, and it's been far too long. I can't do all this anymore. I've been slaving away for years. No private life, no downtime. I want to make my voice heard. These people have valid points. Why don't you join us? We could really make a difference here. Want to see the numbers? I'm telling you, St. Ursula's Hospital has got to go. How many of you have suffered here? How many of you have emptied your pockets into their coffers? Fees go up every month. But the quality of the treatment gets worse and worse. Overdrafts. Overdrafts? <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. The staff are overworked. And the building's falling apart to boot. Will we keep on accepting this? Will we keep on sacrificing our loved ones to this hospital? No. Absolutely not. What? What's this about? Ah, there's our specialist. What are your plans for the day, con artist? Let me pass, Ralph. Go ahead. I'm sure you've got plenty of corrupt shenanigans to be dealing with. We'll just see how many more lives you take before someone stops you. That's right, get lost. Down with St. Ursula's, down with St. Ursula's. Oh my goodness me. That's, uh... That was something. Ingrid, have you seen the people out there? Oh sure, bit of an overreaction if you ask me. Do you think we should call the police or something? Don't worry about it, kid. This isn't the first time we've had angry folk show up at our door. I'm sure the protest has been cleared with the authorities. So right now, there isn't much we can do. Ralph's always sticking his nose in where it doesn't belong. When he gets an idea in his head, he doesn't let it go again easily. So you're not worried? There's even a nurse in the crowd. Hmm, nah, uh, not really. Criticism comes with the territory. After all, no one who comes here leaves feeling amazingly refreshed and rejuvenated. At best, they'll just feel normal again. If they don't, well, that's when certain kinds of people get angry. As long as they don't actually charge inside the hospital, it's all good. Dr. Theobald's already on the case. By the way, he was asking after you this morning. Seems like every day he wants something from you now, huh? Guess he likes you. But you can go straight up to your ward. That's where he is right now anyway. Okay, I... I have concerns. Seems your whole fan club is here today, Finlay. And not just that, Dr. Theobald's waiting for you too. You're a popular doctor today. Have you seen Dr. Theobald around? I certainly have. He's in our break room, which is why I'm keeping out of there right now. We've been clashing on a few matters lately. As such, I don't have much desire for small talk. I heard he wants to talk to me. Of course he does. Please keep it brief, we have work to do. Will do. I don't know if I want to talk to him for <laughs> for very long. I feel like we haven't had a lot of good talks recently.
Dr. Theobald, have you heard about the people in front of the building? Of course. But first, I have a question for you. Did you go to Mrs. DeCalma's funeral service? Yes, and I think it helped me. Thanks for the tip. I'm afraid I'm partly to blame for the protests, though. What do you mean by that? Well, the funeral seemed quite normal at first, but then they started saying it was my fault Irma died. I didn't know what to do. You know, there's one thing you unfortunately need to be aware of working here. When you work at a hospital, problems become part of your daily routine. Generally speaking, someone comes to us with a problem. Sometimes the problem can be fixed, but sometimes, however, unfortunately it cannot. We don't have secret superpowers. All we can do is make people feel like they were before. That is our business, day in, day out. When we succeed, we're rarely rewarded with positive words or deeds. And if we fail, a negative response is never far away. That's the way it is, sadly. And our profession is far from unique in that regard. I'm sure you're familiar with the phenomenon yourself. You don't get the chance to provide a diagnosis until something's already not behaving as it should. So what can we do to get these people to calm down? Don't worry about it, please. Will not allow my staff to be attacked or harassed. I'll talk to the processors and sort things out. And what can I do? Do your job. Help those who need help. Solve as many problems as possible. Even though not all of them will be solvable. Okay. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Gonna follow you out of this room. And... Oh, I was gonna say just like that, he's gone. That would have been really funny, but... No, they actually... You know, show him leaving the room. That's kind of neat. Also, this is really awkward because, like, we're not talking to each other anymore. We've already said goodbye, but we're still going the same way. Okay, never mind. Now it's fixed. <laughs> I imagine you have questions. I'm sure you want to know how I feel about all this. Whether I'm worried about that little protest down there. Let's both do ourselves a favor and skip that part of the conversation. Please get started with your assignments for today. We'll talk later. Will do. Okay. P33, 32, and 301. I think 301 is this way. Hello, Mr. Doctor. Guess what? My tummy ache's gone. My mom's coming to pick me up today. Great, I'm really glad to hear that. Shall we give you one last checkup before you go home then? I don't have great patients like you here very often, so I need to make the most of it. That's cute. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take a look see here, shall we? Um, I think this might be where I feel safest. Oh god. Was pretty decent. Okay. A little over, but... but... Yeah, decent. Decent, like I said. Well, you've got just about the healthiest tummy I've seen all week. My colleague gave your mom a letter for your uh, pediatrician later. Now you need to be careful what you eat in the future, okay? Can you promise me you'll do that? Yes. Dr. Uh, Gerda said the same thing. I should listen to you. And you know what? What? She says you're a good doctor. Oh? Really? Yes, because you made my tummy ache go away. She says you made her tummy ache go away too. But you know what else? No, what? Dr. Gerda's a good doctor too. Yes, she made my homesickness go away every night. You're right there, Emma. My colleague will, uh, take you down to see your mom in a minute, okay? Take care, Emma. Bye. That's cute. Okay. 
Okay. E32 and then 33. So we meet again. Theodora, what do I uh to what do I owe the pleasure? It's my lungs. The weather's doing a number on me right now. I need regular checkups. I have an artificial heart valve. Then there's the severe uh hypoxia, am I pronouncing that right? Saying your blood isn't being supplied with enough oxygen? Exactly. I get by, but I'd feel better if someone gave me a once over. Sure, allow me. All right, let's see. Okay, no promises, but we're gonna try our best. Okay, we're already off to a bad start. It's okay. God, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so. That was a thing. <laughs> I may as well just not have tried. Your lungs are fine. Your heart too. I didn't know you could hear a heart valve. Uh, yes. Not a bad party trick, huh? Ingrid downstairs can write you a prescription for your medication. Great, that's what I'll call f that's what I call fast service. By the way, things are a little crazy around here right now. Be careful when you head out the door. I noticed, yeah. Sorry. Alright, and last but not least. What's all that racket out there? Just an angry mob of people dissatisfied with our work. Ugh, what do they know? They don't have the first clue how difficult our work even is, do they? How are you doing today? You tell me that's why you're here, isn't it? Alright then. Oh, yes, this again. Okay. <laughs> Let's figure this out, shall we? Okay, so I'm meant to do this in four pills, but I I need to get rid of some purple. Um, so I guess what I can do here is get rid of that one. Now I still need to get rid of blue though. And that would get rid of too much purple, almost. Okay, I'm gonna start out from the beginning here. Let me see. Let's work from the bottom up. So, a little bit of purple. Get rid of some blue. Uh... There we go, that's it for the yellow and the purple. Pink is good. I need to add some blue, add some orange, subtract some red. So blue and orange I can do with that pill. I need a little bit of green. And no, okay, no, I think I, I think I got it. I think I got it. What do we think about that? Yeah, you bet your boots I got A rank. <laughs> your liver readings are improving. Good. I'm afraid you'll need to stay with us for a few more days. Well, it hasn't killed me yet. That's why you've still got the pleasure of treating me. Thank goodness for that. Don't let it go to your head. I know what the situation is in this hospital. 
Even I need to put up with an apprentice doctor. I've not forgotten my duty to teach the next generation. So go ahead, learn something. Good. I like the way you're kind of coming around to us here a little bit. Okay, that was everyone. Let's go check in with Dr. Kwaski again. I have a lot on my mind right now. Let me take a quick look at your results. I understand all too well that you're under a lot of pressure right now. Nevertheless, your performance is solid. There's hope for you yet. I have some organizational tasks to deal with now. Have a nice evening. Take care of yourself. Do you think the protesters are still outside? I expect, our do I expect Dr. Theobald's dealing with that. Don't worry so much, Finley. These kind of things can weigh you down. We'll all blow over in a few days. You've got the day off tomorrow. Sleep in late. Time off is precious. Enjoy it. Thank you, I will. I'm gonna play Vigima games all day. Alright, let's see if the mob is still outside. Oh, no? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Better not go out there, kid. What? Why? The protest's still going strong. I've called the police already, but they say there's nothing they can do. Yeah, right. Your colleague thought better of it just now, too. I think she had tears in her eyes. I wanted to say something, but she turned back inside and ran right past me. You mean Mia? Where did she go? Don't know. Back upstairs, I think. And Dr. Theobald, wasn't he meant to talk to the protesters? I don't know anything about that either. I haven't seen him at any rate. He probably got held up by his luxury vending machine again. I'm gonna go check on him. You do what you need to do, kid. We can't change what's going on out there right now anyway. Make yourself a coffee and wait for it all to blow over. That's what I say. Okay. I know he was like, oh, let's go see... Um... Dr. Theobald, but I want to see Mia. So I'm going to let the elevator decide what floor we're going to go to. Uh, okay, where are we? Okay, so we went up one floor, so it wants us to go see the doctor first. By doctor, I mean Theobald. Oh, I thought I saw something there. It was just a plant. Dr. Theobald, are you there? I should absolutely not be in here right now. I hate this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get in trouble, aren't I? Dr. Theobald? Where did he go? It's like he was here not long ago. Maybe there was an emergency? Let's leave. Let's... No, don't even want to look at that. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I wasn't in there. So, Finley, we meet again. Does the boss have time right now? I need to talk to him. Dr. Theobald's not here. His office is empty. What? Strange. I mean, Theobald usually leaves the door to his office open, but only when he's actually in it. Have you seen him around today? No, nope, that's why I'm here. The people on the ward can't sleep with all that commotion outside. I was gonna ask Dr. Theobald to help last resort before I go out there and kick some butt myself. I spoke to him this morning. He assured me he was going to smooth the situation over. Well, guess that didn't happen, huh? I just bumped into Mia, too. She was pretty upset, poor thing. Mia, what was wrong with her? No idea. I called after her, but she ignored me. She just said that Mr. Ar Ar Arndes was back. Mr. Arndes? Yeah. You remember that old geezer, right? Why is he back? Always with the questions. Grandpa was sent to the best rehab money can buy at our expense. Then he's not back here two minutes before he goes... Sorry, he's not back here two minutes before he goes and poisons himself. 
probably thought his wood oil was a bottle of gin. Is he? Of course not. What is it with you and the drama? Which way does she run? Upstairs. Arndis is on the fourth floor. If I had to guess, I'd say she's up there. I'll go take a look. Alright, I guess I'll hunt down the boss. Thank you, Sandra. No problem. I... I have several concerns about this now, especially... Theobald being missing. Hi! Have you seen Mia? Yeah, she just scurried past me. She's on her way to see a patient. Hello, young grasshopper. Uh, Dr. Gotera, is there a uh, Mr. Arndes here in this ward? My duty would normally prohibit me from simply divulging such information, but I can freely... Freely? I am just not having a good time reading today, am I? I can feel the tension in the air. It surrounds us, it permeates us, it holds the universe together. Yes, Mr. Willie Arndes is a guest on this ward. He's just setting out for a walk down the hall. One of my own favorite cure-alls, as it happens. Uh, okay, so... Let's go find Mia. That should be the priority here. Okay. I feel very lied to. <laughs> Mia was not in any of these rooms. Have you lost something? No, well, yeah, maybe. Weird answer. Well, if I find something, I'll keep hold of it. Once you've decided you've lost something, you can ask again. Thank you. I appreciate that outlook. Maybe you meant ran past this way. No, not in there. <gasps> there you are. Mr. Arndes, can you listen to me for a moment, please? Bonkum, I don't have to put up with this. I already told you I didn't steal any blueberry pudding. Why didn't I get a pickle with my dinner today? Mr. Arndes, please, I need your help. Why does everyone keep asking for my help? I just want to be left alone, damn it. Who are you all those people out there anyway? Clear off, you're not getting my money. Mr. Arndes? <laughs> yeah. Finley, there you are. What's going on, I hear? I wanted to do something. I have to do something. What happened? Why are you talking to Mr. Arndis? I was just on my way home. Those people, they're so angry. They called me names and threw things at me. I can't go on like this anymore. I'm here to help people, aren't I? Why aren't they getting on my back? Or why are they getting on my back for that? I know, Mia, I know. Oh. That dialogue just skipped through. Uh, I was hoping to ask him about the night of your accident. Maybe he knows something. That's not a bad idea. Mr. Arndes, can I ask you something? What is it now? You. Don't I know you, sonny boy? Yes, we've met before. You were at this hospital a little while ago, last fall. You had an accident. Do you remember? I, um... Yes. I know your voice. What happened exactly? Tell me. We are looking for you. We think the broke elevator took us both to a disused ward. I found you there. You were injured. Oh, that was you? I was just trying to get back to my room. I don't know how I ended up in that place. What do you remember about it? Not much. I'm not as young as I was. I was looking for my room. The hallway was completely dark. But someone had left a desk lamp on. There was a bed covered in folders and paperwork. And then? Then I heard your voice. Not the most pleasant way to wake up. That's not even mentioning the headache. Is that all you can remember? 
No, after that I was back in this blasted hospital. My time at that rehab place was worth it, though. Not had a meat lasagna that delicious since I was a kid. Okay, thank you, Mr. Arndes. You've been a great help. What does it mean? A lot. You remember the desk, Mia? That bed I saw on the fifth floor with the documents on it. Carl said there was nothing there. But Mr. Arndes saw it too. Exactly. So what now? We need to let Carl know. Maybe he'll know what to do with this information. Hey, Carl. What are you up to? Wait, do you have a hidden camera in my apartment? I was just about to call you. Things are starting to get out of hand here. Me and I want to do something about it. What a coincidence. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Come on over. I've already got an idea. Wait, have you ever been to my place before? No. I live on the high street next to the bakery. Got it. We're on our way. All right. Relying on me once again to know my way around this game. I have no idea where the high street is. <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. However, I think looking at the time, my friends, we are going to have to wrap up this episode here. When we come back, we're going to be piecing things together with Carl. I am very excited to see where this is headed. Um, and just thank you so, so very much for watching and have an awesome rest of your day.